It's not every day that the college football scene is shaken by an unlikely hero. You see, after 50 years of high-level Division I collegiate football, the number one prospect coming out of high school was always an African-American male. These young men were recruited by legendary coaches like Nick Saban, Kirby Smart, Urban Meyer. But amidst the pool of black players was a hint of yellow. The number one recruit five-star headed into the 2024 season was Vietnamese American Matthew Sky. Now, like all Asian Americans, Matthew Sky had strong cultural background. His mother, Venus Sky, taught him three things. Number one, to have a strong academic future. Number two, to be a proud Asian American. And number three, get piped down on the internet. Wait a minute. Drew. Matthew Sky was not just Vietnamese, though, because his father was legendary YouTuber Matthew Maher. And in his first season, Matthew Sky wanted to make his mommy proud. He went to Rice University, one of the most academically prestigious, and put up a solid freshman career. He followed that up with the Tulane Green Wave, another excellent academic institution, and he managed to put up nine interceptions his sophomore year. And as much as Matthew Sky liked making his mother proud, there was something in the back of his mind. He felt unfulfilled. Rice was great, Tulane was great, but there was a problem. You see, everybody knows that there's a direct correlation between academic prestige and the quality of your football program. The only problem, it's a negative correlation. As your academic prestige goes up, your football players get worse. Matthew Sky knew that if he wanted to compete at the highest level of college football, he'd have to forego the academic aspect of college and simply go somewhere to play ball. So at the end of his sophomore year, Matthew Sky finally decided to make his daddy proud. Matthew Sky, for the first time in his career, was gonna go to a school to play ball. Now there is a problem though. The Alabamas, the Ohio States, the Oregons, the Georgias, they've already got deep rosters of excellent DBs on the programs. But finally, Matthew Sky found the program that was right for him. Matthew Sky is an Oklahoma State Cowboy. Save a horse, ride an Asian. Save a dog, eat an Asian. Eat a dog, save an Asian. Matthew Sky has taken his talents to the state of Oklahoma. Certainly not known for their academic prestige, but certainly known for love and football. Now listen, Oklahoma State isn't exactly an insane contender, but they're way more of a contender than Rice and Tulane, and I don't think we're ready for SEC football. Yeah, remember, Matthew Sky's only an 83 overall, but I gotta say, we look pretty awesome in these Oklahoma State threads. That, that looks so good. Hey, what's good, guys? NFL season has been awesome. And with my sponsor, Underdog, you could win up to 1,000x your money just by choosing higher or lower on player stats. Here's my picks for this week. Let me know what you think. And new customers can use this LeBron James free pick. All he needs is one point or more for this to win. And on top of that, Underdog is the place to play. So sign up now and use the promo code MMG. This will get you up to $1,000 in bonus cash and a free pick. Enjoy the rest of the video. Well, let's talk about our junior corner here. It's 12 skill points for a quickness upgrade. We're 89 speed, 91 excel. I think I'll spend my next 12 on this and then I'll start upgrading everything else. And I think the final thing we'll do, hopefully in our senior year, will be to get 99 speed, 99 acceleration. It's just too expensive. And physicals wise, layout, knockout, ball hawk, these are all great abilities that I'm just not investing in right now. Let's take a look at this Oklahoma State roster. We're an 80 overall with an 81 defense. We're a three and a half star program. Our best player is our middle linebacker. I'm excited to play alongside Gabe Brown. Looks like we're, we're really defense heavy, which is pretty cool. And probably the best part, we don't have to fight anybody for our corner spot. We are the standout starting corner at 81 overall. Willie Nelson is corner two. Jacoby Oliphant is corner three. And Ari Best is corner four. So we're the clear CB1. Malachi Smith is our quarterback. AJ Newberry at halfback. Damn, Trey Griffiths. 98 speed, 99 excel wide receiver. Taking a look at our schedule, we are in the Big 12. So some of the tough teams we're going to see, we've got a ranked Texas Tech, ranked Kansas State, UCF. We do have Oregon on the schedule. That's weird. That'll obviously be a difficult game. And then we end the season with Kansas, West Virginia, Colorado. It'll be a tough schedule, but I'm excited to play Big 12 football. I think this will be a perfect transition into SEC football next year. That's my goal. I mean, maybe we go to the Big Ten, but my eyes are set on the SEC right now. Now, last season, I played like four or five games on eight-minute quarters. 
I'm gonna try instead playing more games, but with shorter quarters. I wanna see how this goes. Hey, my defensive coordinator's got a challenge for me. Two pass deflections or four tackles. Two pass breakups is low key kind of difficult, but four tackles? I'm built for that. I mean, God, for Christ's sakes, my mom is Venus Sky. If there's one thing I know how to do, it's fill a hole. All right, I know, I know we went to Oklahoma State, but as a Vietnamese American, the curriculum is gonna be so easy. I could probably ace every test without studying. So good news. That's not gonna stop me from studying though, okay? I'm still Asian. Grabbing some XP this week though puts me at 12 skill points before our season opener. We'll take one more quickness upgrade. God, it's so expensive. But damn, 91 speed, 96 excel, 97 agility. I'm gonna leave this alone for now. I'm not gonna use my next 13 on this. I know it would take me to 99 speed, but I gotta say we played really well last season at Tulane with 89. So I just wanna see what we can do with 91, 96. The Tulsa Golden Hurricane, dude, they actually are a higher overall than us. I thought Oklahoma State was like an 85, 86. We must have lost so many players in the off season. Which is, I gotta say, that is a huge bummer. That that makes things significantly more difficult this season. But shit happens, boys. Matthew Sky, Harvard and Yale were both heavily recruiting Matthew Sky. They thought they'd get him for sure. And in a controversial decision, Matthew Sky heads to the Big 12. Oklahoma State average SAT score 1060. He quite literally could do that in his sleep. I'm not even kidding. Ooh, our season opener, dude, is a cloudy, rainy game in Tulsa. All right, we're starting out in zone coverage, and um, I gotta say this. This is like the perfect bait coverage. Oh, read option. Coming my way, getting around it, and a big hit. Matthew Sky. That's how you start a game. Hey, coach wanted four tackles right there's one of them. That was a beautiful start. Can't tell what, to it looks like Tulsa might be a run first program. Just in general, guys, if you're playing DB, sometimes, you know, you can't really control it. If you play a run heavy team like this, damn, and that's completely my responsibility. I've got to contain the running back. That's on me, boys. My bad. But yeah, I mean, you play a team like this that's run heavy and they're no huddle. You're just a safety at that point. So you got to make the most of it. And yeah, once again, this time it's read option. Oh, a fumble. I've got the ball. My first ever fumble recovery. My first ever fumble recovery. Damn. Dude, Oklahoma State's jerseys are sick. I love that color combo. There's very few jerseys I hate though. Like, there's very few. Dude, we start out with a fumble recovery. Our team's got seven. And yeah, I mean, Tulsa runs this ball a lot. There's another one. Let's get our responsibility. Yep, just gotta get around. Almost every program though, if you're playing DB, almost every program on third and long will pass. So you kind of just gotta force it. You can force that third and long like this. Third and six. There's a good chance this is a pass. Let's see what we can do. Wow. Oh, it is. Oh, but he's gonna step up. I guess it's technically still a run. Oh, another read option. I'm around it again. <laughs> Tackle assist. Oh, lick my balls. That was all me. Second and five. Oh shit, that's actually a pass. Damn. Dude, when they run the ball like eight times out of 10, I, I start to cheat a little too much. That was risky what I just did right there. If I'm gonna do that, I gotta call a Tampa two. So that way I'm not a liability to my team. Here's what I'm gonna do, second and eight, I'm gonna go Tampa two. This way I'm in this light blue over here. So I'm not really totally screwing my team over by sinking in and getting ready for the run. See? See? I mean, I didn't help the tackle. Now we can expect a pass though, third and 10. I've got this deep zone here. Bait it, bait it. Did I bait it? No, it's a curl. Good defense. Hey, fourth and 10. Cowboys, force a field goal. Come on. All right, back in on defense here. It's first and 10. They're going to run it. Let's go Tampa 2. I'm just going to get up and get ready to get on. Oh, shit. It's actually a pass. But see, that's why it's really good that we go Tampa 2. Because I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving a touchdown behind me here. Oh, but this is two minute. It's a two minute drill. That's why they're passing. Oh my God, I thought he threw that to seven. I was so excited to pick that off. All right, we're gonna go cover three match here. Let's see if we can bait this. I gotta wait, wait, wait. Turn my hips a little bit late. Interception, Cowboys. I'm gonna lead you to the promised land. Good block, Sky. <laughs> go on, Nijewa. Itadakemasu. True. One ton me kaki. True. That's Japanese for true. First and 10. Okay, but they're still in deep. This is still deep coverage. Come on. Oh, the bait! 
the beat! No! It's not the beat! I baited myself into a touchdown! Shit! Oh, I thought that was perfect. Oh. Dude, I thought for sure with my 91 speed, 96 Excel. I don't know if he's 99 speed or if I really just baited that poorly, but dude, I was half a yard from that. I was so, so close to that. I gotta say though, I'm proud of offense. 14 points, 14 to 10 right now. All right, we're not in a two minute drill anymore. So they're gonna go back to running the football. So let's go Tampa two and get ready for it. Did I call it or did I call it? Oh my God, he's still gonna go nuclear on that run. Uh-oh, a sack, a sack! Matthew Sky! I bodied the running back! <laughs> I took that home! Wow, that running back's chip block was useless. Utterly useless. Second and 18, this has gotta be a passing down, right? Okay, smoke screen? No, it's literally still a run and he's gonna get like 12 on it. Stop it, man. Another run! I'm there. Dude, I can't even see the running back. I didn't even know he was coming at me. We just, it's its Venus Sky in our blood. We know how to fill a hole. We know how to have a hole filled. You get the joke, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be a run. First and 10, I'm gonna sink over. This literally has to be a run. First and 10 right here in, oh my God, it's not. He steps up, throws. Okay, I ended up blitzing, but that was not my responsibility. So wouldn't have mattered. I have to. I have to concede this pass because this is a run and I gotta stop it. Get there, Cowboys! Third and two! All right, now I just gotta play my resp- Oh no, I'm coming out. We must be going in goal line. We're going in goal line here 100% if I'm coming out because I'm CB1. Oh my God, they're going for it. I came out for one play. Now it's fourth and two. I think I have to, I have to actually guard. I can't, I can't bail out for the run here. It is a handoff. Are the Cowboys on it? That is so sad. That is so sad. Offense, I need you. Did we get something? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we have two timeouts. We didn't get anything. We have the two minute warning on our side. Good tackle. TFL, maybe. It's a great tackle. Okay, we gotta do something big for our defense here. Let's go cover three sky. No way they pass, right? Yeah. There's no way. Third and four, no need to call the timeout yet. We got a blitz here. Go pitch zero. And I assume this is a run. It is. Fourth and two. Timeout. Our ball back. Massive. I need the Cowboys offense to give me something here. Need the Cowboys offense to give me something here. Cowboys offense gave me absolutely nothing. They're in QB. I mean, it is a bummer, but I did let up a touchdown over top of my head, so I have to take some. Uh, I have to take some responsibility here. 17 to 14. Tough loss. Quarterback was horrible. 10 for 26. Dude had 38% completion. First ever fumble recovery though. That's pretty exciting. Oh my God, what an offer. This NIL deal gives us plus five Excel permanently. So that's gonna put us at 91 speed, 99 acceleration. I think the game considers it 100, but it doesn't It doesn't matter when the game starts up. It brings you back down to 99. But what a massive upgrade. Yeah, it's, see, it's calling it 100, which is actually really cool. 91 speed, 100 excel, 97 agility. We could have used that last game because I was one step short. But hey, we've got a rivalry game here against Texas Tech. They are 0-2 though, so they're certainly not ranked anymore. I use all my energy this week to study. I know like I'm making the joke because I'm Asian, but if I continue to get good grades, I'll have no classes at all my senior year. I can dump everything into XP then. That'll be really cool. All right, Texas Tech Red Raiders against Oklahoma State Cowboys. We get the home uniforms. Which I'm hoping I can get something a little cooler. We have like a black one, right? Damn, these uniforms are so sick. I'm gonna rock the orange and black. Honestly, perfect. You're probably seeing this video close to Halloween. Happy spooky season. Save a horse. Ride nation. Kiamo. Obviously my offense was pitiful last game. One thing you can do in team settings for a game starts, you can change your team's offensive playbook. It can help a lot. And I'm gonna think about doing it. I mean, I've only seen one game, but if this offense continues to be really pitiful, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm tempted to change up that offensive play. Second and inches. What does Texas Tech do? Looks like they passed on first down there. This one's a handoff and I'm missing. <laughs> I'm whiffing on that one, but you know what? I was there. Also, I love how the stadium looks. I would like, you know, I would love to go to an Oklahoma State Cowboys game. Our home stadium is pretty gnarly. Ooh, edge. Love an edge run. And I was there, I know he was nervous. Second and 12, what's the play call? Hatback draw. On second and 12. Here we go. A chance to bait something deep. 
third and 10. Now fourth and 10. It's a great stop by the Cowboys defense. You know, everybody knows I'm a zone corner, but I want to play a little man coverage every once in a while. First and 10. What kind of route is this? That is a handoff route. That's what that is. Go cover three sky here on second and five. That's got to be another run, right? Oh, broke his tackle. Oh my God, he's fast as shit. That's not on me. I'm the weak side corner, bro. You guys gotta, you guys gotta do your jobs. Ooh, got a little screen pass here. Great block by that tight end. I could not get off that. Is this a run play here, first and 10? Yep. Sorry, I'm not letting this guy go ballistic again. I gotta get in there and get ready. Let's go Tampa 2. Tampa 2 here, I can just hang out in the zone. Get a little zone chuck on this tight end. Where'd he go? Damn. I wish the POV camera angle was a little better. Dude, my team, this, these Cowboys are not good. It's 14 to zero, and uh, I pretty much, I mean, the game's pretty much over. Our offense is not gonna score more than 14 points. They've scored zero so far. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change our offensive playbook because if we can't score anything, it's gonna be a long, long season. Is this a pass? It sure is. Come on. Hey! Okay, defense. Cowboys defense gets home. We'll force a turnover here. Yeah, it's gotta be a punt because that's such a deep field goal. But what does offense do? Jesus Christ. They literally turn the ball over so fast these guys can still score. Yeah, I gotta change our offense. Beat it out, beat it out! How do I not come down with that? How do I not come down with that? I mean, like, yeah, I'm sad Texas Tech is scoring, but what would it matter? We cannot score. We have zero points in the last four quarters of football. The golden down, gentlemen. This is the best opportunity to get an interception. Seven yards off, shade inside. Hopefully it's a streak. And hopefully he takes the shot on you. He took the shot, just not on me. I can't see the ball. They're down stop. Maybe the Oklahoma State offense is just like a really bad offensive playbook. So let's see what this first play is. 23 yard punt return, two yard rush, two yard rush. Don't you fucking tell me. Okay, fourth and one and we turn the ball over. Classic. Okay, yeah, that's what we're working with on offense. It's really good that EA lets you switch that though because it would suck so bad if you're just like condemned to a horrible playbook and it's out of your control. But luckily you get away, you get a chance. Third and one, I just gotta play tight man and hope my linebackers blow this up. It's probably a run. It is a run and we do blow it up. Fourth and one, nice work. There goes offense turning the ball over on the one fucking yard line. And now we gotta play hero ball first and goal. This is 100% a run to this side. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. True! Good defense. I don't get anything in the stat books for that, but that is okay. Honestly, I think this is QB draw. Oh, it totally was. That was 100% QB draw. Can we make a goal line stand here? Look at this. We have 20 passing yards and 28 rushing yards, 2.2 yards per play. Like, fuck off. What kind of playbook gives you 2.2 yards per play? Second and goal, I gotta bail. I gotta fucking sell out for the run. Oh, shit. Wow, I actually was there too. They still scored on us. Oklahoma State puts up a poverty six in garbage time to make this 24 to six. Yeah, um, shoot, Matthew Sky, I thought I was coming to the Big 12 to play legitimate football. Little did I know Oklahoma State has the worst offense in the Big 12. I mean, this is just pitiful. You threw 11 for 22, a touchdown and interception, 50%. Rushing, you got 2.4 yards per carry, 2.2 yards per carry. These guys suck. We gotta change up this playbook, give our team a chance, cause um, it would be a long season if we don't. Are our college football playoff hopes already gone? I sure hope not. Matthew Sky with three total tackles and a pass deflection. That pass deflection was so unbelievably close to an interception. I can get plus five strength and stamina temporarily on this NIL deal. Not bad. Look at how much higher our overall is because of that. Dude, I'm kind of tempted to get a hands upgrade after dropping that INT. But no, right now with three skill points, I can actually take zone coverage or I could get a new ability. Let's improve house call, improves interception attempts. Let's take that up to silver tier. I'm gonna switch back to eight minute quarters. See if we can do something legitimate here against Kansas State. So PSA gentlemen, if you're playing this and your team's offense sucks, Right before the game starts, go to team settings. You can change your offensive playbook. Like, 
Also, the game is defaulting me to Virginia Tech. We are Oklahoma State. What the fuck is that? I'm switching this over to Oregon. Now, I gotta say, this game here against the Wildcats, I don't know much about the Wildcats, but I know they had Deuce Vaughn, which tells me they're gonna run the football a lot. And it looks like I'm right so far. First two plays are runs. Looks like we'll be running a good amount of Tampa 2 today. Second and eight, do they bring out a pass? No, another handoff, kinda coming my way. No tackle assist either, unlucky. It's too bad you can't change your opponent's playbook. I mean, I know that's kinda lame, but it is an offline mode. Like, why not let me do it? Especially as a DB, dude, because if you face a run-heavy offense, and it, <laughs> I mean, you guys saw the triple option games. I did really enjoy those, though. Those were fun. And boom! Go Nichiwa! Big tackle. It's hard to scream Konichiwa though when they get an eight yard gain. Like, did we really do that much if they got eight yards? Oh, jet sweep, jet sweep, jet sweep. Okay, I was there for it. I did my responsibility, boys. Your turn to show up, third and inches. I gotta go cover two because I need to fucking blow this up if it's a run. Oh, it's not a run. Potentially a screen pass goes low! Come on! Oh my God, that was in? Oh my God, that was in? Bro, I thought that was God tier defense. I thought I just blew that up. First and 10, they're five wide, which is shocking. We'll go low to the tight end here. And I didn't even get a, I didn't even get a tackle stat for that. It's actually depressing. Second and five, probably a run. We'll go Tampa two. Yep, yep. Great defense though. Gun empty trio, cover three match. This way we can potentially bait the streak. Let's see if it's there. Oh, it is. Take a shot, it's not a streak. Third and three. I don't know about this down and distance. This could be a lot of things. Let's get inside leverage here, corner out maybe. Ooh, a sack on the QB. Cowboys get home. All right, offense. You're on Oregon offense now. Will that do you any good? I don't get it. How did we literally instantly turn it over? Did you just open up the, did you just throw a pick out the gates? First and 10, a handoff. Just gonna go for 20 up the middle. What are we doing? Another first and 10, I'm just gonna blitz. Fuck it. Oh! <laughs> what a beautiful time to blitz! Matthew Sky around the corner. Now it's second and 18, they gotta go yard now. Come on, let's bait one out. Oh my God, come on. Come on! Come on, Dave. hey, offense, I'm giving you the best positions possible, gentlemen. Let's make something out of it, yeah? Okay! They'd fire me. Cut me. Cut me. Get me out of here. I suck on Oklahoma State. I suck. Oh my God, his name is Rice, too. Stop it. Oh, that was Quentin Rice. That was the fast guy. That was the 95 overall. Dude, you like, I literally cannot buy. I can't buy a touchdown. First and 10. Oh, this is two minute warning. They may actually be passing. Yep. Cover three, Sky. Oh! Oh! Where are you going? We got room! We got room! Matthew Sky Redemption Tour. That was, okay, that was weird. That was blanketed. Like, he shouldn't have thrown that at all. We got the interception. Let's go. What would you do here on first and 10? Oh, yeah! Not oh, yeah. No. How do you say sad in Japanese or Chinese? All right, they really, they run the football a lot on a pistol. I'm pretty confident this is a run. I am so full of shit. But I forced him out of the pot. I, I, I swear that was all me. Stay true, that's all me. No help, that's all me. All me for real. For second inches. Ooh, I'm manned up on the running back, which means I can definitely blitz. Okay, he's going opposite side. Jesus, guys. Jesus. It's another blowout. We're gonna get smacked again. I'm in Tampa 2, that's not my zone. My, my buddy got torched, not me. Just kidding, that might be my fault. It doesn't matter, why does it matter? All the, all the opponent has to score against Oklahoma State is three. They beat us to three points. Kinda thought he was gonna check down. I'm gonna go low, that running back's good. I don't feel like tackling him high. I'm in Tampa 2 once again, so I just gotta hope my boys, oh! We call that, we call that the Pythagorean theorem. I calculated the radius of my girth of my cock and the ball landed in my 
hand for an interception. What the actual fuck just happened? Let me see this. Two INTs today. <laughs> I gotta see this again, bro. Okay, we gotta rewatch that at the end of the game. We have to. Dude, like, what the fuck? Look at this. I, I switched our offense to Oregon. I mean, what are you guys even bitching about? It wouldn't have mattered if they scored one point or 42. They automatically win because you guys put up literally zero on offense. How is that possible? They're not even that much better than us. Like, they're hardly... Oh, my God. Malachi Smith threw 7 for 21, 57 yards, and an interception. And on the ground, 3.7, 2.2, 2.5. Did it not take into effect my offensive playbook change? It, ha it literally has to be bugged. I refuse to believe that this is legitimately possible. I don't believe it. Something's wrong. Matthew Sky does get Big 12 Defensive Player of the Week for the two interceptions, five tackles, and two sacks. Probably National 2. National Defensive Player of the Week. And we got zero points of offense. And after picking up a win against Houston and UCF, we actually have a winning record. We're 4-3, but this is about to be a true test. We take on Oregon. We do have five skill points, though, so let's spend these. I'm going to get zone coverage. I really don't know what this does for us, but it'll definitely take my overall up. Takes it up to 89, so that's nice. And we hang out to the other two. I may go for a hands upgrade next. Also, I can't believe it's taking me this long to do this, but it is my junior year, so my facial hair is coming a little bit better, right? I feel legally obligated to rock the mutton chops. I don't think I have a choice. I think I have to. The Oregon Ducks have a gigantic advantage on us, but you know what? It's a pass-heavy team, right? I know they pass the football. Ooh, and we got stadium falls. First and 10. I went 10 minute quarters for this game because I wanted to play and I get on my block and get the solo tackle. It's a great start. Second and two, Tampa two, let's stop the run. Gotta help out our team as much as you can as a DB. So sometimes you just gotta predict the play call and fill the fucking hole. God, I'm Ed Reed. I'm the black Ed Reed. First and 10. Another handoff. You frauds! You never learned your lesson, old man! Oh my god, I'm a tackle maniac today! This could be, this could easily be a National Defensive Player of the Week game. I can just feel it. Got a little boot rollout here. That was a sexy looking play, and damn, do they complete it. Nice work. Yo, best case scenario though. Tampa 2 early, get a TFL, force them to pass. That's what we're looking to do here. And I guess we do kind of force him to pass here. I'm going to take the easy tackle, the smart one, because that's a big boy tight end. I did forget, though, I reset all my sliders to try and fix my offense. I figured my offense was fucking up because I don't know why. But I forgot to readjust fatigue. When you have fatigue on base, you'll, like, randomly get subbed out all the time, as you can see. And uh, that's never fun. Regardless, we'll, we'll play with what we got here. We'll be all right. Third and 11, definitely a pass. I mean, it's got to be, right? How do you not pass here? Oh, baited. Baited! Fumble! Whoa! My camera's all fu- <laughs> Oregon fumbled, and then their own running back recovered it, so my camera didn't know what to do. I would've been so pissed off if they scored off that. I just sat out a lot of plays, though. That's a super big bummer. First and 10. Gotta assume they're running it. Gotta help the team. Ooh. Usering the running back is kind of nice. I can blitz for free. Yay! Come on, tell me I get... Yup, TFL. TFL. I don't know what they do here. He's gonna take a shot! Come on, Matthew Sky! This is gonna be a National Defensive Player of the Week. You can just feel it! You can just feel it! I'm in, I haunt Dylan Gabriel's dreams. I did not adjust our offensive playbook. So this is whatever the default was. They just got seven. First and 10, handoff. Come on, you're not fucking slick. You're not fuck. What a play though. What a play though. We did not get the tackle. Right back to Tampa two, I'm doing that shit again. Could really, you could easily take a shot on second and two. They don't, but you could. That's the only problem with that outside zone run. I can't get to him fast enough. Ooh, you're kidding. Hey, second and 10. It's great work, no gain. Come on, you wanna do it again. You know you wanna throw that again. You know you wanna take another shot. Oh, they're just gonna run it. 
I do come out though, because I don't have my fatigue slider set, so. I mean, how tired can I really be getting, bro? I'm fucking DB1. I don't play ball. I am fucking shooting hard gaps on the QB every play. So yeah, I probably am getting pretty tired. Second and eight. Now, I don't think I can bail out for the pass this time. This, I have no way of knowing what they're realistically running here. Wow. They do run it again. It's just eight yards every run. I'm getting subbed out on the goal line. If Oregon scores here while I'm out, I'm going to be very sad. What do you know? Ten points for Oregon. Stupid. First and ten, empty trio. This is their star wide receiver, 87. Hopefully that, hopefully that. Oh. Oh, I'm just under it and my safety over the... F and he misses the fucking tackle? Brother, first and 10. Gotta go play safety. Oh? Oh? What are we doing? What are we doing, Oregon? A sack. We got a sack, we got an interception, we got multiple TFLs. Now second and 21. Another handoff. Jeez. Third and 11. Come on. Oh no, I baited it too hard and he took the heave heave. on me. Honestly, at this point, if we're gonna lose this game, I think I should be aggressive and try to get the INT every time. Because also, also, I don't think we have a chance at the college football playoffs. I think our season's kind of cooked with three losses already. So you know what? We might, I might as well be going for interceptions every time. That was bad defense, though. He just ran right over my head. Second and three. Yup. <laughs> Dude, another TFL. Come on now. Dude, can we actually win this game? It's third and seven. No, please tell me you guys defended that. They did not. <sighs> damn. Now they're just gonna run it again. I'm a damn good lineman. Dude, as a DB, I'm so much of a, like I'm so much better at linebacker than I ever was at linebacker. Does that make sense? If we score here, we have the lead. Oklahoma State, I've never needed you so bad. Let's go normal. Let's watch this offense. Oklahoma State, I've never needed you so bad. Second and 10. Third and 10. You guys fucking suck. Fourth and three. You got to go for it. Don't you fucking punt that ball. Yourself. You're so stupid. You're so stupid. Why am I not in? Why am I not in? Game winning drive, your DB1 is sitting on the bench because I didn't adjust fatigue. Oh my God. In what universe would you rest a starter against the number two team in the nation? That's crazy. This season might be cooked, boys. I'm gonna have to play fucking selfish ball all season long. Matthew Sky, 11 total tackles, four TFLs, nine solo, a sack and interception. Jesus. I mean, I did give up touchdowns though. I'm, I'm well aware I gave up touchdowns. Just so stupid. It, it, this is what, guys, if you start up, if you start up a road to glory, here's the first thing you do. Gameplay sliders, walk all the way down to fatigue, set that bitch to zero. Otherwise, your coach will take you out in the most crucial moments of every game. Uh, next game's against the Cyclones. We've got four skill points. I'm gonna take a new ability. Let's get knockout. Improve catch knockouts in coverage. So we got two abilities now. Bronze tier knockout, silver tier house goal. Oh, my goodness. As interesting as this Oklahoma State season has been, we come to an insanely crucial game here against Colorado. See, in week 12, we beat West Virginia. In week 11, we barely got past a horrible Kansas team. And in week 10, we squeaked past the Cyclones. So as you look around the Big 12, you realize that at the top is three teams, Cincinnati, Oklahoma State, and Utah. In sixth is the Colorado Buffaloes. And our final game, of the week is the Colorado Buffaloes. Meaning, if we beat the Buffaloes, we go to the Big 12 Championship. If we win the Big 12 Championship, we're guaranteed a spot in the college football playoffs. Even though we have four losses. That's crazy. We do have three skill points. I'm gonna spend them. I'm gonna get layout, improve diving swats. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know if I've ever done a diving swat. And there's one more thing I wanna do too. It's not unrealistic to believe that after two years of college football, I put on some muscle, I put on some size, right? Well, we're a 6'1", 192 corner. I'm gonna bump that 192 up to 205. Before you say that's unrealistic, Jalen Ramsey, 6'1", 208 pounds. So we put on a lot of size. A lot of that's muscle, some of it's fat. I've been busting down the Panda Express. I got an NIL deal with them. 
Ni Hao. Not only is it a ranked matchup, but we win here and we actually can go to the college football playoffs. What's gonna be the uniforms? We are at home. All blacks? I'll go orange and black. Honestly crazy that we even have this opportunity. Um, I will say my offense was doing literally nothing. And then I went to my sliders. I just clicked reset to default and it did fix my offense. I don't know if anyone's dealt with that before or if it's just pure chance, maybe we just sucked at the start of the season. And then we started to figure it out. I don't know. First and 10, what is Colorado like? Looks like they like to run the ball on that first and 10. Dude, I swear, whatever a team does on first and 10, they're gonna do it 90% of the time on every first and 10. I feel pretty, ooh, QB Keeper, come on, buddy. No way you didn't give me a TFL for that. Oh, I'm pissed. What a hit. Third and nine though, third and nine though. This is the down and distance. Oh, a double move. And he converted that over there. We had a really good chance to get a stop there early, but that's okay. Now it's first and 10, they're gonna run it. I'm telling you, man, they are, they are not original. This is a run. And what do you know? And what do you know? I don't run a lot of man, but I'll run some man today. What you think, Matthew Sky? Oh, it's a screenplay. It's a screenplay and I am all over it. I need a cover three match. I gotta bait this out if it's possible. Post route. Oh, just get the tackle, please. Fourth and two, that's a turnover. We love it. Offense can't get anything either, but we got a great stop to start out. And I tell you what, Tampa two, because this is a run. What do you know? Ooh, that's not great defense though. Will you give me this tackle? They sure will. There we go. Now we got a stat. Second and one, I really don't know. I'm gonna be ready for the run. Ooh, power option to the QB. It's going nowhere. Cowboys defense all over it. Third and five, what do we think? What do we think? What do we think? Come on, take a shot. Take a shot, Destin Wade. Oh, it's the screen again. Oh, is that intercepted? Dude, we are, we are bagging them right now. This is the best defense we played all year. No touchdown on offense though. Oh my God. Oh my God, safety opportunity. First and 10. There's the handoff. Almost, second and nine. Oh my God, it's, it's got a chance, a very legitimate chance. Let's just make a safe tackle. If we can get in there, we just gotta squeeze our little ass in there. Safety! Oh my God, he rolled forward. Oh my God, that was almost a safety, third and 10. They still gotta run it though, right? Yeah, he does. That's fine. I, I couldn't hard blitz there in case they passed. I would've given up a touchdown. I can't believe that's not a safety, but it's a great play. And it's a great stop, and we should have excellent field position on this next offensive drive to put up seven points. That's how you play defense, gentlemen. First and 10, Tampa two, play our defense over the top so that we can bail out for the run. Shit. That is like the perfect way to counter what I've been doing, but they so rarely do it that I'm okay. I'm okay giving up that 10. Nobody scored yet. Oh, just kidding, I'm so stupid, we have seven. Why did I just say that out loud? First and 10, sorry guys, I went to a shitty non-academically prestigious school. I forgot all, I forgot everything I learned at Russ. I tell you what though, this running back is in piss right now. We're all over him. Second and nine, this could be a lot of things. They've been running some screen passes here though, right? This is an RPO. Looks like it was completed. Damn. My DB on the other side is having a rough day. Oh, it's coming my way, it's coming my way. Like, where are we? Where are the linebackers? I'm literally like abandoning my post to help you guys stop the run. First and goal. I have to. Uh-oh. It's on me. I know, it's on me. But what, like, what do you want from me? I gotta help, I gotta help the boys out. Nah, I don't know. I think that was pretty stupid. Gun double stack. I literally just don't know what this is. I'm gonna run cover two, man. That was that ability. Oh my God, and he fucking stiff arm my boy. That was that ability layout. That was layout right there. Bronze tier layout. It almost made a play, but not quite. It's good defense. Or that was good offense and a good throw. This is a run to this side. It's not. Wow. Boom! You caught that. Stop it. Oh my God. Damn, dude, Colorado's on like ultra instinct right now. I thought for sure that's pass breakup. Especially because I got um knockout that ability. Yeah! A man coverage lurk! And I've got daylight! Daylight! Ooh, 
those angles are just too good. Big INT! Dude, that low-key might be my first ever man coverage interception. I still haven't picked six, though. Still have not gotten the pick six. I'm gonna need to make a really, like, a crazy play on, like, a screen or something to get it, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Is that a TFL? Yes, sir. That's a shot right there. That is beautiful defense. Second and 10. Throw the corner out. Oh, safety. Oh my God, he's on the one. I don't know how he's on the one. I'm doing it. I'm going for the safety. Oh my God. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my God, every tackle they fall just a quarter inch in front of that thing. I'm scared to do hit sticks, boys. Because I swear, for the, the whole first two seasons, every hit stick was useless. Maybe I try it right now. Maybe I'll try it right now. I'll try a hit stick. Ooh. Immaculate defense, somehow. All right, timeout Colorado. They're trying to, they're trying to score this nice and quick. I want to bait this so bad, but I'm really scared of doing it too aggressively and then putting my team in a compromised position. I'll play it soft. Like a, like a bait, but a, a soft bait. Yep, that was good. See, it was it was too good of coverage to force him to throw it, but in this scenario, with this big of a game, I'm okay with that. First and 10. Come on. Come on. Come on! I knew it! Come on! Shit! Great tag. These guys are fucking Ray Lewis, the wide receivers. Great tackle. A great, great defense. God, we're playing out of our fucking minds right now. Two interceptions, five tackles, multiple TFLs, and honestly, almost two safeties. 10 to 14, offense is struggling a little bit right now. That was an RPO, but look at our defense. Defense is all over it anyway. Good job, defense. Second and 11. Wow, another handoff. Third and 11. We gotta give our offense just the best scenario possible. I need an interception right now. Slip screen. Are we on it? Are we on it? Are we on it? We are. It's a turnover. I need seven out of you, boys. Hey, Oklahoma State, give me seven more, and I'll get you a win. They get fucking nothing. Absolutely nothing. First and ten. Second and three. There's a handoff. Good defense. Let's stop. Third and one. Let's go pinch zero. No, Tampa two. I got to hope they're running it. They are. Can we stop it? Mm. Oh, that is so unlucky. Yes, sir. <laughs> Cap shot. Come on. Got my hit stick that time. Second and 13. That's a huge play. It's not over. It's not looking good, but it's not over. Okay, slip screen. Maybe a legal man downfield. I don't know what that flag's going to be. It's on us? Roughing the passer? That's really bad. We're in a really, really bad spot here. Goal line normal from the 20. I got to say, that's interesting. It's play action. He's going to take off. I don't know how my team doesn't see that. Second and six. All right, no longer in goal line. I got to play true pass, bro, here. I got to bait. I got I to gotta make a play. I was about to say, that ball looked like it was way over my head, and there's not that much space left on the field. Third and six, please don't run it. If they run it, I can't help, and I, I fear that my defense will choke it. My defense will choke it anyway. Defense did nothing. Oh, we're playing such a good game. We've gotten two turnovers for our offense, but we are just, we're not converting, and I let up a touchdown over my head. It's just a recipe for disaster. Please don't let him catch that ball. We were playing such a good game in this first, second quarter, too, and we're just falling apart here. I gotta get risky now. Is it a run? No, it's a pass. Quarterback's flushed out and he goes down. Okay, we can hold him to a field goal here. We hold him to a field goal here? It's a two possession game. I'm gonna slow it down and watch offense on this next one. Come on, do something stupid. Please. <gasps> Oklahoma State, interception. We got 94 yards to go though and our offense hasn't done a damn thing today. I don't know about this, but at least we have a chance. Great interception defense. Okay, first and 10. Two yard rush out of our quarterback. Why? Incomplete pass, 27 yard reception, 15 yard reception. Incomplete pass, eight yard reception, two yard rush, that's a new set of downs. Five yard rush, 
13 yard reception five yard rush one yard rush no 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 don't slow down now don't slow down now two yard rush fourth and two what do you do okay okay it's points it's absolutely points gun empty base flex an opportunity to bait just throws one quick over the middle second and five Heaves one deep. Please no, guys. Good defense. Third and five. Third and five. Clock is stopped. We've got three timeouts. Gigantic play. Slip screen. And he, he doesn't even get it. Oh, my God. Oklahoma State has a chance. Next offensive drive. What do we got, boys? We're going to have good field position. Incomplete pass. Two yards. Why are we running the fucking ball? What are you guys doing? Fourth and fucking 15. And they... Why are we running the ball? What are we doing? This has got to be a run, right? Wow. You see me get around that just to whiff the hit stick again? They gave me a tackle for that, too. The game doesn't even know what it wants there. They're still in no huddle, though, which is so weird. Second and four. Dude, the fact that Colorado is, like, glitched into no huddle is actually, like, so helpful for us. Because they could be taking 40 seconds off this clock every time. Instead, they're getting nothing off of it. Quick screen pass. He's tackled for third and three. But they still kind of have to run this football. I assume. Can't bail out for it, though. I got to guard my man. Brings him down in the motion. It's not really my zone. I couldn't guard that. The game is now manually chewing the clock. They went into no huddle to sit there for 30 seconds. I don't think the game knows what it wants anymore. Sack the QB. Second and 18. There. Third and 16. We don't need to burn our timeouts. You think they run this football and then punt it, or is this a passing now? They run the football. Okay. It's a great stop. 21 to 13. It's going to take an Oklahoma State miracle, but... It's possible. There's a 15-yard penalty against the defense. 14-yard reception. 13-yard reception. 6-yard reception. 11 seconds. Use a fucking timeout. 1-yard rush. Touchdown. 2-point conversion. 2-point conversion. Oh my god. And we scored. And we scored. First and 10. I got to play my best defense ever. Is it a run? No. Okay, so now I play in defense. No. Yes! Good defense, boys! Second and ten, good defense, boys! We're playing in our zone, we're playing smart, smart football. Oh, what the fuck? I couldn't even see him. For the first time ever, I'm doing this. This is the only time I would do this. Oh my god! I was about to say, that ball sucked, I could have picked that off. Second and goal, second and goal! Five wide! Quick throw! How the fuck are we in cover four and you just got scored on in the back of the end zone? I need to know. Back to back. It's back to back defensive reps now. We're going cover three match. Throws intercepted. Cowboys. Get it up. Get it up. I'm scared of women. Oh my God. Can offense pull it off? All we need is a field goal. This is the second OT. Four yard rush. Honestly, fine. You can hand it off now. One yard rush. It's a it's a pooch field goal. Six yard reception. Scary ass. Two yard rush. At this point, you just bring the kicker out. Third and six. Fourth and five. Bring the kicker out and end this shit. Missed. You missed a 26 yard field goal. Oh my God. I know 1,014 year olds who can make a 26 yard field goal. I don't ask me why I know so many 14 year olds and why, oh, it's two point conversion. I was wondering why they were so fucking close. That's ball game. This fucking guy missed a 31-yard field goal, and we failed our two-point attempt. Holy shit. I mean, you gotta be fucking kidding me. This team can't do shit. 
Oh my god, fuck this. I'm never going back to Oklahoma State. Chester misses a 26 yard field. What are you, Blair Walsh? 18 for 31, 58% completion, one touchdown. On the ground, 3.5 yards per carry, 1.6 yard per carry, 1.5 yards per carry. Fucking hang it up, bro. Go play D3 ball. Hang it up. That's so annoying. That was our ticket to the college football playoffs. What else do you fucking want from me? Do I legitimately have to play like God himself every single game to potentially get a win? 17 tackles, four TFLs, two interceptions, 38 interception yards. It's so ridiculous. In high school, in fucking high school, I never missed a kick under 40. I, was, I wasn't even that good. Oh my God. I've never considered sending hate mail to someone. And um, Chester Kaysen, granted, he's an auto-generated player. He's not a real person. I would love to send hate mail directly to your house. I will dox you, find your address. I will actually, unironically, show up at your mom's work, hit on her. You know, just nothing casual. Hey, you're very beautiful on the first day. I keep coming in. I keep coming in. I'm a regular client. I'm a usual. I come in all the time. All of a sudden, your mom's saying, wait a minute. 25 years of marriage doesn't look the same. My little baby Chester, you know, his father's not as good as I thought. And this, this sweet young man, Matthew, keeps coming into work. And I just, I feel like a beautiful young lady again. All of a sudden, I say, hey, you want to go out for lunch? Sometime you've got a lunch break, right? 11 o'clock, I pick up your mom, Chester. I pick up your mom. We go out to eat. We're having a splendid time out to eat. And all of a sudden, she feels the butterflies that she felt 20 years ago when she married your deadbeat father. All of a sudden, divorce, home wrecked, marriage, cheeks clapped, all of a sudden, she's pregnant. Nine months later, you have a new son. His name, Matthew. Matthew Kaysen grows up to be 20. He's a kicker. And guess what? He can make a motherfucking 26-yard field goal. Also, I banged your mom, Chester. Dude, this guy has three physical kicker abilities. Deep range, coffin corner, and chip shot. And you can't make a fucking 26-yard field goal? Your tendency is accurate? 10, 10 to my nuts in your mouth. Your ass. Oh my God, 99 injury. I'm shut. oh my God, I'm gonna tear your ACL for you. I don't care what your injury stat is. Holy shit. Matthew Sky, Big 12 Defensive Player of the Week. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. I know, Matthew Sky Dash. I know. The 2026 Heisman Trophy winner is Austin Mack. QB out of Alabama. His stats were not that good. Yes. Yes! Okay, obviously that was not the end of the season we wanted, but we really did play super well this season. I let up too many touchdowns behind me by trying to bait so hard, but wow, we had a really good season and it showed up because we win the 2026 best defensive back. That is an awesome award to get. And wow, we lost to Tulsa earlier this season. Our bowl game's the Liberty Bowl against Tulsa. It's nice to get a little rematch. And as you can see, academically, I am graduated. Fully graduated. So senior season, we don't have to spend a single point on academics. I'm gonna sim this Tulsa game. It, it really doesn't matter. We can't go to the college football playoffs anyway. So let's see if we end the season with a W. Yeah, we did not. I cannot say I'm shocked. It's transfer portal time. And I'm, I'm happy to leave Oklahoma State. This is the most inconsistent team I've ever played on. Sometimes the offense would show up and then sometimes it's 42 to zero against Kansas State. Sometimes your kicker misses a 26 yard field goal to beat Colorado in overtime. And then you run the ball to your 1.1 average yards per carry running back for your two point conversion. Let's see our final stats, gentlemen. 52 solo tackles, 23 assisted, 75 total tackles. Actually ties, perfectly ties what we did at Tulane. A lot more TFLs, more sacks, five interceptions. We had nine at Tulane, so I will give it that. More deflections. Less catches allowed. That's a pretty cool stat. I didn't know that existed. And our first fumble recovery of our career. I'm going to look to improve on every single one of these stats in our senior season. And I think for our senior season, it's only right that we go play big boy football. I'm thinking we got to go to an SEC program. The question, of course, is where? We're an 89 overall, so we should have a good chance at a lot of programs. Alabama, we would be CB1. Oklahoma, we'd be CB1. Ohio State, we would be CB1 because Matthews is going to graduate. USC, we'd be CB1. We could play at Tennessee. Actually, it, it, it appears that we could virtually play at any single college that we wanted to. I can't help but think LSU would be really fun. 
I would be an outright starter at LSU. Obviously, I think Alabama's got some incredible odds to win a national championship. Same with Ohio State. I mean, these programs are just completely dominant. I feel like my top three right now are Alabama, Ohio State. I think LSU would be fun for sure. Maybe Oregon. Oregon doesn't feel right. I don't know why. It just doesn't feel right. A lot of options, gentlemen. When it's all said and done, though, it was a really fun season. Too bad we couldn't make a playoff push but that's what senior year is hopefully for. Matthew Sky, he's hanging up the towel at the Oklahoma State Cowboys. A very roller coaster season. I hope you boys enjoyed it. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.